The Jackson Neighborhood As of 2014, the obesity prevalence among adults in the U.S. was 36.5%, making us the second largest nation with a high obesity prevalence following Mexico. Obesity, in simplest terms, is when a person's caloric intake exceeds its expenditure, thus creating nutrient stores. In the long term, this could cause excess body mass, leading to comorbidities including diabetes, heart disease, and liver failure. It is well known that attributes of the built environment play a vital role in an obesogenic environment by influencing physical activity levels and the consumption of unhealthy foods. The Jackson neighborhood is under the zip code 90602 in Whittier. According to the California Health Interview Survey, obesity affects 29.2% of 17,400 adults that reside in the area while 15.1% of 3,200 kids ages 2 to 11 are overweight, as well as 39.5% of 2,000 teens ages 12 to 17. Lydia Jackson is mixed with low-income and middle-income households, with low-income making up the largest portion and largest divide. 19.5% are white and 75.4% are Latino. Within the lower-income portion of the district, there is an elementary school, shopping centers, two plazas, auto shops, dry cleaners, bike shops, banks, restaurants, mini marts and liquor stores, grocery stores, and recreational facilities like Lee Owens Park and the Boys and Girls Club, giving the area a walkability score of 86. While within the middle income portion, there is far less businesses and convenience stores and a lot more single-family homes giving a walkability score of 68. The Lydia Jackson district in general presents si safe sidewalks, plenty of trees, therefore a lot of shade, and well-maintained and clean parks and streets. Among the food options in the Lydia Jackson neighborhood, fast food and convenience stores are the highest prevalence and with only two grocery stores and compared to nine fast food and convenience stores. But even the grocery stores promote calorie-dense and sugary processed foods that are fairly inexpensive. Although the neighborhood encourages physical activity, the food environment reinforces an unhealthy lifestyle by marketing away from healthy eating, making sense to the current obesity and overweight levels. So, now we ask, what should be done? Whittier should create policies that incentivize the local food providers in the neighborhood to market healthy foods while maintaining the cleanliness of the built environment of the neighborhood. This could create new access to healthy food options and demise the weight of accessibility as a social determinant to healthy eating.